in this video we're looking at the laser pecker pro and it's auto lift supporting stand it's a great product with a terrible name stick around All right, if you've been in the industry for any amount of time, chances are you've seen tons of different laser products. Whether it's the JTEC Photonics add-ons for your CNC or 3D printer or a 40 watt Chinese laser from eBay. There's lots of different options. Today we're looking at the Laser Pecker Pro and an accompanying accessory that does auto lift, auto focus uh, capabilities. So to get to that, we're gonna dive into the unboxing on the Laser Pecker Pro. All right, so the Laser Pecker box is very nice. It, construction it's a box inside a sleeve so remove that sleeve you have a nice uh, two-part box opening up that box is a little tricky it's a very tight seal and then we have some materials and a 200 millimeter ruler and some materials um, some general instructions we see their instruction manual how to engrave perfectly and then the layout is really nice um, there's the laser, 5 watt laser. It's got a power button, a USB connector. It's all aluminum construction and it's has a quarter 20 connector there. Uh, and then a coated lens on the front side. I assume it's got some galvos up in there that um, control the direction of the laser. Next we have a power supply with a USB connector. Pretty straightforward. Finally, there is looks to be a tripod and glasses. So, yes, uh, glasses to protect your eyes. Hopefully, they're for the right wavelength. And a tripod. Uh, the tripod is probably the the cheapest feeling object in the entire kit. Everything else feels well built, but that's just a standard low end um, tripod. Let's clear some of the stuff out of the way and get this thing hooked up. Connecting it to the quarter 20, I imagine you could use any uh, tripod that you want, but it needs to be the proper distance from your the item that's being engraved. And in this case, you know they're recommending 200 millimeters to the surface of the object that's being engraved, which explains why they gave you this 200 millimeter ruler. So. Well, the tripod here accommodates that by having extending legs, which is kind of nice. Um, and you can certainly raise it enough to accommodate the 200 millimeter requirement. Now, depending on the size of the object you're putting under there, like if you wanted to put a basketball under there per se, obviously you'd need a bigger tripod. But in this case, it'll handle anything from like a book to a cell phone or you know, something of that nature. Uh, just plug in the top uh, via the USB cable, plug it into the power brick, and that will get us going. Uh, now, there, the only way that you connect to this particular laser is through your cell phone. Both Android and iOS, they have an app, a laser pecker app that you download, and that provides the connectivity and control of the laser. It's pretty easy to set up. There's a QR code you can see on the instruction manual right there that you can scan and go to the respective uh, app store to download and install it. Once that's complete, here's the app. It's got some basic settings. You can uh, scan an image. You can look at clip art. Let's pull up one of these uh, festive clip art objects. Just enter the dimensions. And we're good to go. They provide some materials. This is just a recycled cardboard. And now you can see the laser drawing a square. That's basically telling you the area that it's going to engrave the, the image in. And since we're doing that little Santa, can see that little dot moving around well, that's basically the frame of the area and the apps kind of nice in that regard so that you can uh, you know then cancel out when you have it properly centered around the object and then you send it over it takes about 12 seconds to send the data now we get to select what material so 
recycled paper. That's what they happen to give you, so that's perfect. They also have like corrugated paper, leather, bamboo, wood, cork, yada, 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 acrylic, and fruit peel. Okay, so you can laser engrave some fruit peel. Or you can do custom and set your own settings. Clicking start, you'll see it outline it one final time just to make sure, and then it starts to burn it. So it's going to take a while. It's pretty slow. So this is sped up five times. And you can see the image come to life. When it's complete, it's got really good contrast. It didn't actually go through, and there's no charring. But uh, this, I assume that's why they give you this paper, is because it has good contrast. There are a couple hot spots. You can see where it burnt through the material. I don't think that would happen with everything. So here's a piece of birch. Let's put that under there and give it a shot. For this one, we'll do my logo. Just accept it as it is. We'll make it a little bit bigger at 45 millimeters. <clears throat> Still takes about uh, 15 seconds to send it over to the laser. And then rather than the recycled paper, let's use the setting for wood. and start. Take some time to send it over. Then you do see the little square and it starts engraving immediately. So you really have to do that layout before you send it over. This one in fact since it's a larger logo uh, this is at 10 times speed so this took a significant amount of time. I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes to actually engrave this, this logo. All right, so there it is. Um, it's a little charred. I would say that the default setting for wood is a little too strong, um, but that can be adjusted with custom settings or we could sand off the extra char and be good to go. Not bad. All right, now that we've seen the basic functionality of the laser pecker, it's time to work with this auto lifting, auto focus supporting stand. And so let's dive into that unboxing. All right, so this accessory is pretty, pretty pricey, um, but it is pretty heavy. The box is, um, feels like it's all aluminum construction as well. Uh, and that's one of the best things uh, this product has going for it is the excellent design and quality and craftsmanship of the product. So you definitely get what you're paying for. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, and this is uh, an automatic self-focusing stand um, that holds the laser. And it, like I said, it is an additional accessory purchase, um, but it's really well constructed and it feels like it's pretty high quality. It just has that little USB cable and the stand itself. And we'll show you how that works in a minute. To get that set up, we just need to take the laser and it sits right in this um, socket that has like a neoprene in there so it, it fits nice and snug. And then there's an adapter USB that plugs into the stand and then plugs into the laser. When they're both connected, um, as you'd imagine, the power USB plug needs to be plugged into the stand. And on the bottom side of that same connector is where that happens. You just plug it up in there. The thing to be careful about is when it's extending, that USB cable can get caught. When you turn it on, it's a long hold. You see the little red alignment dot, um, and it fires up. So the, the basic fun functionality has up and down buttons. Every time you tap them, you go up a millimeter. If you hold it, then you'll move continuously at a, a pretty small, slow rate, and you can manually set the, the distance. But the whole point of this machine and contraption is to automatically set focus. So if you just tap the power button, it will automatically raise to the correct distance, and then it beeps three times, and it more or less gets you 200 millimeters. But in some cases, you know, it was a little bit off, so I tap on this block of wood, and if we measure it once it stops, you know, it's about a, an inch off, you know. Uh, in some cases, it was a, around a half an inch to an inch off, but more or less gets you in the ballpark. 
Now I don't know how critical it is. This this is almost an inch off. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too critical in terms of the focusing, but you saw there, I didn't move the wood, but I tapped it again and it, it raised it a little bit closer to where it should be. So not terrible, uh, and it does get you in the ballpark. Um, if you want a, you know, a turnkey solution and not have to deal with doing it manually, then this, this works pretty well for that. So we'll burn another image, not that the stand is gonna change the uh, quality. Uh, we'll take this, I, I think this is like Christmas vacation vehicle with the tree and packages on top or something like that. Um, selecting the material and then clicking start. But before that, uh, since the paper's a lot lower, I tapped it and it automatically lowers to the correct height. And I think the accuracy here may be related to the size of the object that's underneath the focal range. And so once that's complete, we sent it over and ran this at five times speed to engrave the car. Now I imagine this can, um, will work well for engraving on just about any material. Um, if you do custom settings, then you do have zero to 100% of the laser power, and you also have zero to 100% of the engraving depth. So power I think is gonna be the power on the laser, and the depth is gonna be the speed at which it engraves it. Since there are no moving parts, it's probably using Galvos to swing that laser around. It looks pretty good. It works really well. pretty good little device with terrible name. The basic functionality of the Laser Pecker Pro is comparable to the Orter or other devices that you may need for marking your products or embellishing designs on whatever you want. Uh, just don't think about cutting stuff with them. Um, so that said, uh, this device is great if you want to brand some of the uh, coasters or chopping blocks or anything that you make, then this, this may be pretty functional sort of unit for you. Uh, and the stand makes it easier to automatically focus and lift to uh, get good, good engravings every time. That said, um, that's going to do it for us. If you want more information about these, I'll put a link down in the description. Go check them out. And if the price is right for you, then this may be the deal that you need to uh, finish off your products. If you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, subscribe to the channel or head over to our Patreon. That's where I give away all of the models and files necessary to uh, allow you to do any of the projects that we create here. In the meantime, be safe, have fun, have a great holiday, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too.